Hey guys, we are live. Sorry for the little delay. I was actually at, up at the Apple store fixing my computer because I thought I lost my thousands of photos, but I found them. That's awesome. So I just wanted the little backdrop of my tree because we don't have a big Christmas tree. We have a little tiny tree and I'll just show you some of, we have a lot of our homemade decorations on there. So that's really cute. I'll show you guys a few of the decorations that I have um, I have a whole playlist of uh, custom like different Christmas decorations. I'm just walking through the house here. There we go. I'm gonna bring you around, and I'm gonna show you guys a bunch of the uh, decorations that I've made. And I have all kinds of playlists. We're not gonna make Christmas. I was gonna make Christmas stuff today because I have so many. I have so many uh, videos already of Christmas decorations. So I'll I'll link up the the. Uh, playlist and the videos below this video of how to make them and I'm going to flip my screen. I see everybody's popping in so I'm going to just check the computer to see who's popping in so I can say hello and then I will flip the screen and show you guys some stuff I'm working on and today I had a special request. So we have Clarice, Peggy, Nadine and Ruth and Laura. Hi guys, how are you? So just let me put my uh, iPod in its stand. I'm gonna flip the screen. I'm gonna actually plug it in because it's going to die. So let's flip the screen around and just plug it in so we don't lose power. Perfect, that's my messy table. And there you see my computer over here. And let's just bring this down so we can see. I'm gonna just center it on here so we have more people coming on Jen Carolinas and mm, leopard I think I it's uh, some of the usernames are a little tricky so there we go so let's just get started I'm gonna show you just give you a little sneak peek of what we're going to be working on here's my tools and I will just get into my iPad I had a direct message from Jean to ask me about doing some wire numbers uh, that uh, I think it was Karen had done in the Facebook group. So I don't know if you guys remember seeing those, but I'll show you the pictures. So here is the, here's the image of what she wanted. So there's like 518. So these are really cool. This is Karen had made her address and put it outside her house, I guess, as a little uh, sign. So I thought it was super cool. Hey, Janine. Uh, yeah, Janine, there we go. Sorry, I, I'm getting distracted from the uh, screen. So this is, this is really interesting with the numbers, the outlines. So she actually just needs the number six because she needed the number 69. So the six can actually be the nine. So we're going to see what we could do about that. So cool, eh? So these are basically, it looks like they're done with a thicker gauge wire. So I have some, a 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire that I'm going to use. I have a big roll I bought on Etsy. And then there's little beads inside. So as long as I show you guys how to do the outside, I think you guys can handle wrapping in the beads. And I wanted to show you some other number things I'd done before. This was actually one. I'm just going to flip it around. This was one I did. That's my parents when my dad turned 80. So this was five years ago. And I made him, it's hard to see, but I made him the number 80. And with little sticks in it to go in his cake. So I'll try to show you up closer. So, and they're inside the 80 there were all kinds of really cool icons like my dad was a skier and all kinds of things so i put little skiers little musical notes and things inside because um to represent all of his interests so that was that was really fun we had a, a big birthday party for him and then the other number i've done was this was something in my etsy shop so i do all kinds of custom cake toppers and so what I did was I did the girl wanted dinosaurs for her for her son and then I did a number one so there's like the outline of the number one with a little stick in it so the sky is the limit for what you could do with things like that so I'm going to I'm going to get right into that <clears throat> excuse me soon but I thought I'd just show you a couple of the other things that I'm working on so let's go in here we have a few more people hopping on Joyce and and I 
um, Ananka, Ananaka. Sorry, I can't pronounce that properly. But I'm going to show you a few of the things that I'm working on. So these are some sketches. I had a request for some uh, earrings with the theme of cards. So this is something that I'm working on now. And then some other things I'm working on. I have an order for unicorn earrings. So that's the unicorn that's going to be earrings. Okay, I'm working on that. Reindeer earrings. These are all things that I sell in my Etsy shop. So there's the little musical note with the heart, the little guy on the bicycle, and then my husband makes these little wire figures. So we have the little um, wire figure playing the saxophone, and then a wire figure playing the ukulele, which is super cute. Ananaka, thank you so much. That's a lot of A's. <laughs> there we go. So there we go. And then there's a the um the what do you call it? Dragonfly. And then there's another design for the dragonfly. So I have two designs here. So these are just some of the things that I'm working on for Christmas orders. I'm actually super busy on Etsy. If anybody wants any advice on selling on Etsy, I've been doing it for 10 years and we actually paid our mortgage selling wire art and jewelry on Etsy, which is pretty, pretty awesome. I'm pretty grateful. So guys, I'm going to show you some of the other things that I have. And um, so, uh, unicorn and the deer, are adorable. Yeah, they're cute, eh? And then these are ones that I have tutorials for. Uh, I'll link up the playlist for my holiday tutorials below. And any of these designs, I have tutorials on how to make the snowman. These are super cute, just with little pom-poms. Um, these were made with just little sequins that you buy at the dollar store with the with the um, Christmas tree. So those are fun. I have stars done with the, I think they're called bugle beads, those long beads, wreaths, candy canes, and these were stars of David. And I have like bow, just with recycled holiday, you know, those little mini bows. So these are all designs that I have playlists for, oh, on YouTube and then the angels. So those are super cool. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time on these because I do have playlists. I just wanted to show you guys. And then I have a lot of the ornaments as well. So I'm going to, I'm not gonna go do show too many of them, but I have like fun, like simple stuff, treble clef and the wreath. And then also the snowman as a decoration and snowflake, tons of stuff. So I'm going to link up those uh, below. And then something I just wanted to show you guys too is when I sell my stuff on Etsy, I actually always send a greeting card uh, with, and I, I don't write in it. I just put like a little note inside, like with a sticky note so people can actually reuse these greeting cards when they give the gifts that, that I send them. So what I've done for this is actually it was a watercolor background with a, an actual crocheted heart on top. And then what I do is I photograph them with a good camera and then just print them out. And it makes really nice uh, cards with, with the wire sort of mixed media stuff. This was actually done with scrapbooking paper and a wire travel clef, but it's, you'll see, it's just photographs. So I can print these, like a, I can get them for 10 cents a copy and make cards with them. And then this one was super cute too, with we just took a picture of our bicycle in the nature, and then I printed it out as a card. So, so these are just, you know, fun little ideas if you wanna do for gifts and stuff like that. So handmade uh, greeting cards, that are printed. So you could actually mass produce these. You could you could do a sort of a collage with a little wire work like in a Christmas theme. And then in theory, you could print up a hundred of them and that could be your Christmas card. And all what I did was just put them on a card stock, which is from Michael's. You can get 80 of these blank cards with envelopes for, I think it's $12 or something ridiculous like that. Really, really inexpensive. So those are all ideas. So with that being said, let's go ahead and try our numbers uh, because that was a spe special request for Jean, inspired by Karen's design in the in the thing, in the white in the thing. You know that thing, that wire art and jewelry makers club, which is we are, we're almost at three thousand members. It's amazing. I I love that group. It's just so much inspiration. So guys, I'm gonna just open up the photos again to have a look. So this is 1.2 millimeter 
wire. This is the aluminum wire. I actually bought this one on um, Etsy. So you can you can buy all kinds of tools, like tools and beads and wires on Etsy. So, and this is nice because it's very soft and it stays nice and bright. So let's cut a good long piece of that. Okay, well just the key of course is finding the end. I actually did a workshop this weekend at the local library, one for kids and one for adults. We The adult one, we made jewelry. And then in the kids one, we made some uh, decorations, like some ornaments, you know, those angel ornaments with the sea glass. We made those at the library. So, so that was super fun. So here's our wire. And I'll just show you the guys these pictures again so you can have a look. So here, the idea is you want to do some kind of outline, right? So you could fill it in with beads. So this one looks like it started here and then going around like that, which is really cool. And then this, so you, the, the, the key is to know where to start and where to stop. So let's see what, I think we'll do the, we'll use this concept to do the six, where we start like at one end and then work our way around. So let's just try that. And Jen says, lovely cards. Thank you. Thank you guys so much for all your, your lovely uh, comments and stuff. So let's go ahead and start somewhere in the middle of this wire. We're just going to, my philosophy is always just start by starting, you know, even if you're not 100% sure where you want to go with it, it's always a good idea just to start. So depending on the size of your beads, that's going to determine how wide you want this to be. I'm going to keep it on the small size for now just because it's a prototype, but you could definitely do it bigger. And then what you want to start doing is start forming the inside circle to do the six, okay? So you could either do it with your hand like that. You could just form it around with your hand or something that I use is I keep a bunch of these pill bottles and beautiful idea for the cards. Yeah, thank you so much. Yeah, I love making the cards. I love making the original ones with the, the watercolor and the wire as well. They're a lot of fun to make. So now we're going to put this in here to form, to start forming the circle. So if, if your wire is, if you're having trouble to form like a good round form, this is always a good way to do it, to use a pill bottle. So we're just going to go around like this. This is going to take a little bit of adjusting because this angle, we might have to adjust the angle of this line to make sure it sits in place. So we want it to look like a six and already here, I see I want to like adjust the angle a little bit so it, it goes that way a bit. So what we're going to want to do, and I don't want it too small either because if she does want, if, um, if she wants to have like, this for an address, you want it to be a good size. So it's gonna be a little smaller than what I would do for an address, but at least uh, it's gonna give you the design idea. So now this line needs to be a little more angled just to kind of follow that. I think I wanna make it a little bit wider too. So we're gonna go ahead and do that, make it a little wider. And then we want this to follow the angle of that. So even if you have to kind of push it around, a little bit there we go so that already is starting to look like the six and then we're just going to bring this around and if you need to help it a bit with the round form you can do that too because sometimes it's really hard to make a round form so we're just going to bring that around okay so at least we've got it started so we've got that started a little bit so already you see we've got it. This is the trick, eh, to get like a nice kind of double line shape that you can fill in with wire. And then the, the possibilities are endless for this. Once you have sort of your basic shapes, you could fill it in with any kind of, of wire and beads that you want, like little spirals, little different size beads. So here we have just like the basic shape and then you you just have to decide on your size right so if you want to do the six then you want to figure out how you're going to stop it and I know um on the ones that Karen had done she did little spirals at the end to finish them off so you can do that too and you also want to 
kind of a way to, to hang them up. Probably the best thing to do is you just put like a little nail through it or something. So if we go ahead and decide where we want the top to be and then we just bend it. Okay, we can just bend it here. And then we could bring this might be a little might be a little high, but we can just keep going and adjusting it a little bit. And then you can adjust this to what thickness you want, like how what width you want. It is definitely finicky. And um, I'm trying not to be too much of a perfectionist about it because it definitely, uh, you know, it's going to look better once you fill it in with beads. But this is the idea. So once you have your size, like I find that even a little needs to be a little higher. So then we want to finish it. So we can just go ahead and bend this one around here. Okay. Okay. And then clip it. We want to clip it right in there and this is the idea is to clip it with these pointy cutters get right in there if you can and then pinch that and pinch that in okay and then what she did what that makes it look really nice is she did like a little spiral so if we bring that in just bend this in a little bit this is definitely optional but it makes it a little more fancy if you do a little spiral so basically to do the spiral, I just wind it around like a round form. You could use a cone form, which would be good too. So I just wound it around twice and then we're going to bend this. And I'm just going to take some round pliers and bring it in here. So we're gonna bring that in there and just bring it right in a little bit just to bring the spiral in. And then you can make the spiral as tight or as open as you like. So we'll just make a tight little spiral there. Okay, and so this would basically be your beginning shape for the six. Uh, when you hang it on your door, if you're hanging it up, you would stick like a little pin in there. So what I'm gonna do is I'll do, I'm gonna do a number like this to show you you know, so that's the basic, basic idea if you want it hanging up. And then from there, if we got some beads, this is always the fun part to choose the beads. So we can just, you know, at this point you could just go through and you would just wind the beads on. So depending on what kind of style beads you want, like I have these ones and I have a whole bunch of other Oops, I'm just going to open these. So I have all kinds of, you know, these are some other beads that I have. So you might want to go with some more like shiny ones. Um, like maybe the sparkly ones are nice. So maybe I'll do that. I'm going to bring these on. If, like so, some little sparkly ones like that might be good. And this is, you know, this is the fun part where you can just play around with it and see what looks good because it's... Uh, you know, like how when you design those necklaces on those little necklace holder things that you get from the dollar store. So this, at this point, you can just go through, you know, choose your pattern to see what looks good. And sometimes it's good to use random colors. Sometimes you want to mix in different colors, but you can just go ahead and, and plan it out like that. And then once you have it planned out, then you can you can get uh, the wire and string it through. Hey, Kathy, how are you? So, so yeah, so I'm just gonna put a few on here and I'm, I'm not gonna beat up the whole thing, but I will, I'm gonna show you guys how you can just start to beat it. And then from there, you can just kind of do your own thing. So if we go in there and just do a bunch of different ones, could be good. I kind of like the idea of mixing in different colors. Okay, so we go in through there and you don't necessarily have to do a pattern. You could have a few beads that you repeat every now and then could be good. So yeah, so that's the idea. You just kind of fill it in and then go from there. So now to actually fill it in, you're gonna use a thinner wire. So I would just go with a 24 gauge wire, I think. What are we making? So Kathy, we're making these little numbers. Uh, Karen had posted in the Facebook group a picture of she did her 
her whole address um, out of uh, out of beads and wire. I don't know if you remember a little while back. And so I can show you again for the people that are just hopping on which one. So it was like this. So this was what she posted in the Facebook group. And then Jean asked me if I could show you guys how to make something like that. So that's what we're doing now. And then basically what you would do is maybe just to keep track of your pattern, you can, um, here, if we bring it, if we bring this, because that's the tricky part is to remember what pattern that you liked, right? So if we bring this in, okay, and then if we just, I think this could work. If you, you'd be better if you had like a little container with a little ridge on it, or if you have, you know, those necklace, those necklace holder things when you make necklaces, I forget what they call those little boards that you design necklaces on, then you could do that. But this way, if you line up your beads, you're gonna remember what your pattern looks like. Cause sometimes the hardest part of these projects is just to decide on your beads and stuff. So, so basically what you're gonna do now is just take your 24 gauge wire and bring it around and then just, you know, not there's no real rhyme or reason you just keep adding your beads so the idea is you want to anchor it in place with your 24 gauge wire I think this is just a sort of a utility wire that I got from the dollar store but you do want to use a wire that's pretty flexible I wouldn't go any bigger than a 24 gauge wire or it's going to get a little kinked up and stuff so it was hard to tell from Karen's photo exactly how she added the beads because it's um it gets really pixelated when you expand the photo but this is sort of the way i would go with it is just to um just to to wind it around and if you want all like you could bring it around like bring the wire to the back and then to the front again if you want them all going in the same direction there's not really any rules about wrapping it so whatever you find easiest uh, what would be super cool too would be the do the wire weaving. You could definitely do some wire weaving too, but because these this piece is quite large, you maybe don't want to do too much wire weaving. It I, I'm not sure how it would look when it's so large, uh, but it, like last week we did the letters and the letters were super cool. So basically you could use the same idea what we did last week, but we you we're doing numbers instead of letters. So this is the idea, guys. You just I'm not gonna waste your time by by keeping on with this but the idea is you're going to bring that around and just fill it in with beads so I'll what I'll do is I'll finish that and I'll post a picture in the Facebook group and in the community section and now we're going to try some other numbers just so you guys have an idea of how it's done so that one I'm going to put at the side and now I'm going to get the wire again and let's go ahead and do some other numbers so uh, Karen had already done three of the numbers, so let's try to do some different ones to give you an idea of how it would look. She did the five, the one, and the eight, so let's go ahead and do a two. Let's see what we can do for the two. And I'm going to show you also um, how to, if you want to do it instead of a hanging ornament, if you want to do it as a... Um, a like something that plants in the wedding cake, or in, in a cake. Uh, the idea behind that is you would maybe want to do it with the same wire but if you do end up you know just wanting to make a number that can hang but also put it in a cake you can always like just put an extension wire and then remove it later um, if you want so to do the two sometimes it's better to actually draw them first just to see how it's going to look so it's good to sketch it out first so like just, I'll just show you for example, for the one, just so you know how she did it, the one is sort of like that, okay, and looks like finished here with a little spiral. So the two, you'd have to do something, let's see, just looking at the two on my keyboard. So we could do something like this, so if you want to do it as a cake topper you can just do and then do the stick like this I like the idea of doing the cake topper and if you don't want to do it a cake topper just finish at the top with the little spiral like that one so then the three 
same idea. So we're gonna just do like that, finish it at the bottom, and something around like this. And you can either fill it in with beads or not, like the one that I showed you with um, the dinosaurs. I didn't put any beads or anything in it. I just did it kind of like that. And then the four, I'm not sure, like on the keyboard, the four is more like this, okay. And sometimes they put like the little extra bit there to make it look more like a four. But then this is your challenge, right? To do something in there. So what you could do for the challenge, hey Amber, how are you? What you could do for that, so say you're coming around here, like here, and then you would just go in, 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 and then out. So you have to be a little creative about how you do the insides of those. The other option for a four might be to do something, I don't know how it's gonna work, let's see, if we do something like this, you could also do that as a four, okay? So you guys let me know which one you like better, which four you like better, that one or that one. I'm not quite sure which one uh, looks better. So the closed one or the open one, you can let me know. And then the five was just, I'm just pretty well copying what she did, like that, and then same thing. So. If you want to finish it as the cake topper, you just finish it there. And then the six we did. So so the six one, if you do want to do it as a cake topper, we're just going to go around here like that. And here, finish it there. And then this is, you just backtrack on yourself. So there's the six. And then the second four. So the open four, okay, that's good to know. So I'll, I'll try that one then. And then the seven, pretty easy. Okay, we're just gonna go around like that and then down there. And then the eight, well the eight, here, let me get another paper. Okay, we'll get another paper. So the eight, that was the one that I used as an inspiration to figure out the design. So the eight is something, I just have to figure this out. So this one goes around here, okay, around here. And yeah, she did something really interesting here. So it goes around and then around. Okay, this one goes around. And she continued it right, did like this spiral thing. It was really cool with a little so this you know you wouldn't have to get as fancy as that but it's uh you could do something like that hi sweetheart hugs share nice all right and rainy says please do a video on selling on etsy okay that's that's actually a good idea i probably if i did a video about how to sell on etsy i would do it on my other channel i have another channel called start by starting and i have a podcast that i interview friends and fellow entrepreneurs and so i would probably do it on that channel and i'll let you guys know if i do a channel on selling on etsy i have a few uh, inspirational video for in entrepreneurs that are on there already so then of course for the six it would just be the upside down uh, or the nine would be the upside down six but if you wanted to like know where to start it so you do like that and like that and like that so that's always the that's always the thing oh and then this one too you would actually I'm just trying to think of how I would do that one if I didn't do this type of thing. You know the eight? I would think I would make it a little simpler. I think I would do the eight if we go around here. Okay, around here. And this one. Okay. Yeah, I think the eight I would do much simpler. We'll go here and then we want to end it here, right? to do the topper. So these would be how you would do all these cake toppers. This one, if you didn't do the spiral, you would just go down here. So so I think it's a really cool idea. You know, I would I would love it if you guys tried to make some of these to go on on cakes. I think it's I think it's a super cool idea. I love the idea of adding beads to it. I think it's really neat. So let's try it too. I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. And uh, and then we'll go from there. 
should I do the two or maybe the four? Okay, you guys choose. Which number should I do next? Because I don't have a lot of time to do a lot of numbers. I'll do one number. So you guys, uh, whoever votes first, I'll do that number. And then we'll, um, as a cake topper. So let me know which one you want me to do. And I will do a, a cake topper with that number. And then the other ones I will do eventually. And I'll, I'll take pictures of them so, and put them in the Facebook group. Number four, yes. Okay, four is the winner. So there we go. And actually, four is my favorite number. So that's really, that's really cool. So let's go ahead and do the four. So what we want to do is we'll have to start, leave more on the left side because uh, you can see that there's more going on on the left side there. So let's go ahead and bring, get our pliers, bend it down. It's, I have to tell you guys, it's a little awkward for me to work under here because I have my iPod over top and it's really hard doing things with long pieces of wire, but uh, bear with me if you hear little scratching sounds uh, on the table and stuff. Okay, so let's just go ahead. Let's put it this way so we could actually follow the pattern. Okay, so we're going to start with this line here. Bring it down here. Okay, and we're going to go bend this across. I think I cut my wire way too long. Okay, so we're going to go across here and then bring it up. And the other thing you can do is print uh, images off the internet of numbers and just follow follow the shapes. I do that a lot where I'll just, especially if I have to do like a custom order for an animal, like a dog or something, or a horse that has a very, you know, funny shape. Uh, sometimes I'll do that where I'll just um, trace the shape with, um, with the, like trace the wire around the printout. So that's really cool. Okay, so we're gonna go across here. I probably should have found a picture of the four, but we're just gonna wing it for now. This line across the top would be a little bit parallel. And then decide how wide you want it. Okay, we're gonna decide how wide we want it, like what kind of beads you want to go in there. So that'll decide the width of the number. Okay, which one are you, okay. which one are you doing? The I'm gonna do the open one. You go, so then things are falling all over the floor. So here's this one and perfect and Rainy says thank you check out start by starting yes absolutely and I'll put a link I'll put a link to the start by starting I think there might already be one in the description of most of my videos and um, yeah so I'm gonna actually I have to go visit that site today because they YouTube passed a new law that you have to indicate on your videos if they're made for kids because there's uh, all videos that are made for children now are not eligible to be monetized. Uh, there's very strict rules about advertising to children and I totally understand that. So what I actually did was I deleted all my child related videos on my YouTube channel, on this YouTube channel, like anything that had like Barbies or Lego or any of that stuff, I just deleted just because I'm more niched into adult stuff now anyways. But the people who are creating DIY videos and um, doll videos, different things for kids, game videos on YouTube, they're no longer eligible for monetization, which, you know, it's it's a double-edged sword. Like, I totally get it. I, I, I totally believe you should not be advertising towards children. But I think there probably are other solutions for these YouTubers because a lot of them, this is they make their living. Uh, creating content uh, for people to enjoy on YouTube and my friend uh, Jackie uh, she has a channel called the nerdy crafter and she does uh, craft kit reviews but now I mean she has millions and millions of views on her channel and uh, it's her full-time job uh, but now she has to find other more creative ways to actually make a revenue because you can't, she can't monetize on um, YouTube anymore. So a lot of these creators are going to Patreon and um, and setting up Patreon, uh, Patreon accounts where people can support them privately. So, uh, you know, I'm pretty lucky. Like YouTube for me is more of a hobby. I mean, my videos are monetized, but I'm, I, we make our living uh, selling jewelry on Etsy. So it's not, it doesn't affect me as much. And the fact that I don't do kid related uh, videos anymore. So that doesn't affect me anymore. 
And uh, Rainy says, you could do a wire weave. I think the wire weave would be beautiful. I really, really do. So this one ends up being a little smaller, but it's super cute. So I just kind of winged it. Uh, but like I said, you can definitely print one off the internet if too, you know, if you're not too good at proportions, that's not a problem. So there's the four. And then what I would do now is you need this little bit at the bottom. So we're going to decide how tall you want it. I can get rid of that one now. And we're going to just do a little bend where we want it, okay? And then you wanna bend it back down. And usually when I make cake toppers, I leave about three inches to go into the cake. I find that's like a good amount of, uh, you know, of uh, wire to go into the cake and then we're going to if you're concerned about putting the metal in cake like some people don't like that idea of of having the aluminum wire in the cake you can always wrap it with some saran wrap or put a straw or something in there to cover it tape it up whatever you know if you're using a wire that's questionable you can always find solutions to stick it in the cake so we're going to bend this here. So Galen says, good morning. Oh, good morning. What time is it there? We're, we're 1.30 in the afternoon here. So here's the four. And then you just need to twist that end around. So we're going to twist this end around here. Okay. And right around. Actually, I don't want too much wire necessarily there. You could clip it right in here. That might be better. So we're going to just going to clip it right in there. You could twist it around a couple of times, but if you want it more discreet, just kick, uh, uh, cut it right, you know, right flush in there. And then to get the end, I've had some requests for to make videos on how to finish ends of wire that they're not pokey. And this is sort of one trick where you cut it flush and then you just make sure it's like right anchored in there, okay? So you make sure, and then when you do that, like it's not sharp. So that's gonna be another tip a uh, tip Tuesday video at one point. 1045 California time. Nice. I want to go to California so badly. Uh, this winter, I'm either going to California or I'm going to um, uh, Florida for a, about a week or two. I want to, I want to do, I, I do a podcast. So I'm going to take my podcast on the road and interview some friends and entrepreneurs down south. But I have to figure out uh, what's the most practical place to go or if maybe I'll go to a conference, a social media conference or something if I can find something. So here's the number four. So you see the difference, you know, if you want to hang, whoops, if you want to hang up the, the uh, number, you don't need a stick. You can just finish it anywhere you want with the spiral. But if you do want to stick it in the cake, you can use, um, you can use the, um, put a stick like finish it at the bottom and put a stick and then what you would do is you would do the same thing where you're going to choose uh, some some beads to go on there I'm thinking it might look better with some kind of transparent shiny beads because they're going to be a little bit more fancy like you can even use a mix of shiny beads and um, even transparent beads there's like sort of like shiny blue and stuff like that. So so that's it, you know, you can just go how you want, just play around with it, add your beads, do some bead um, wire weaving. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just bring these here. Uh, I'm not gonna finish them because we're, it's already uh, 145. But what I'm gonna do is I'll do a set of these. I'll post a picture in the, in the, um, Facebook group, the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club, and I'll just show you that this is sort of um, work in progress, but to just to show you that you could either do ones that are hanging up, or you can do, let me move this over a little bit more, you can do ones that are hanging up, or you can do ones that are, here, let me move this up here so we can see all of our numbers. Let's see if we can see them all. Yeah, so this is like the hanging up one like this. You can make it a little more fancy. Yeah, transparents are, are beautiful. Yeah, you're right. So let's move these up a bit. So this is pretty well everything, you know, we made today. Uh, this is, I think this is the most unfinished uh, project video that I've done so far, but it's really just to give you an idea of what can be done. So what I'll do is I'll do my homework and I will... Um, 
I'll finish up some of these and put pictures in the in the Facebook group and uh, yeah so our regular video on Saturday is going to be I'm going to post the snowflake earring video and below I'm also going to post the uh, playlist of all the Christmas and holiday uh, crafts and well not crafts more jewelry and ornaments okay so do, 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 do. I'm late today yeah no worries you guys can watch the replay I'm gonna flip the I'm gonna flip my camera around uh, now and bid you all farewell but let me just turn this around there we go perfect so oh there's my little my little nook in the corner I should probably close the cupboard door oh now you can see my hand too so let me move that I'm just going to close this cupboard door and here is my nice little nook in the corner so that's where I sit and have my breakfast so guys I'm gonna let you go uh, thank you so much for hopping on the live stream it's always a lot of fun uh, unfortunately we didn't get anything completely finished but you guys got a really good idea of how to do the the numbers so I will finish those up and put pictures in the Facebook uh, in the Facebook group um, so Wednesday or Saturday is the snowflake earrings and next week I'll do another tip Tuesday and I always appreciate you guys hopping on and I got to get back to work I have a, a whole bunch of orders to do for Etsy it's it's I think this has been my best season yet I'm really very grateful um, and like I said if you're interested in selling on Etsy uh, feel free to d uh, direct message me anytime if you need some advice I'm gonna post some videos in the other channel and I think that's something I could really work on because I've, I've had a lot of experience on Etsy and I really uh, enjoy it. So, so thank you. Bye, Kathy. Bye, bye, Jean. I got to see all your names on the. I don't know who is still on the group. Janine, Jen, Rainy. Awesome. So, so I'm going to let you guys all go and I will definitely see you in the Facebook group every day. And, uh, and thanks again for all your support. So we'll talk to you soon. Bye.